everybody, it's time for another tutorial. This look is intended for one of the days I'm going to be at IMATS London. Now, let me tell you, I will be there three days, so all three days, pro night, Saturday and Sunday. But anyway, I'm going to wear this look at, I don't know, one of these days. That's why I said one of these days, because I have no idea which day it's going to be. <laughs> Anyway, um, so yeah, I came up with this pretty dramatic eyes, some faux freckles, dramatic lips. You know, it's eye mats. You get to do whatever the hell you want, makeup wise. So why not go all out? You know, either go full on prosthetics or go full on drag or something in between. But you know, makeup wise, anything goes. So click on the video listed here. <laughs> so on the top of the screen or click on the link below in the information box and that way you will get to know when I'm going to be in London, for how long, what I'm going to do there besides IMATS, yada yada. So if you want to know how I did this look, then you know what you gotta do. So of course I already applied my Urban Decay Original Primer Potion, but where I applied it is all over my lid, in my crease, on my brow bone and underneath my lower lash line. Then next up I'm going to use my MAC Studio Fix Face Powder in NC45 and I will be applying that with a tapered blending brush by Royal Lang Nickel. So I'm using windshield wiper motions and I'm first applying that in my crease and then I'm softly blending it up towards my brow bone. This is going to give me an even canvas to work on and it's going to help me blend out my other eyeshadows. Next up, I'm going to use that eyeshadow right there. It's called Funny Girl, and it's of the Tarte Tartlet in Bloom eyeshadow palette. I will be applying that as a brow bone highlight with a Morphe concealer brush. And as you can see right there, I'm applying it right underneath my brow as a brow bone highlight. The next eyeshadow I'm going to use is by Melt Cosmetics, and this one is called Enigma. I will be applying that one with a 217 blending brush by MAC. So again, I'm applying that in my crease with windshield wiper motions, but I'm not going to blend it all the way up towards my brow bone. I'm keeping it pretty close to my crease. Then I'm also kind of flaring the eyeshadow out with my brush, sort of in an eyeliner shape, if you get what I mean. And again, I'm using windshield wiper motions to blend out the harshness of the eyeshadow. And now I'm applying that same eyeshadow right underneath my lower lash line with a Inglot pencil brush. And now I'm going back to that Tarte Tartlet in Bloom eyeshadow palette and this time I'm going to use the eyeshadow called Smoke Show and I will be applying that with a large eyeshadow brush by Morphe. And I'm just going to apply that all over my lid. So I'm just using stippling motions to pack on the eyeshadow on my lid. And I'm taking that same eyeshadow on a 239 eyeshadow brush by MAC and apply it right underneath my lower lash line. But I'm not mixing it with Enigma. And now I'm going to take leader eyeshadow of that same Tarte Tartlet in Bloom eyeshadow palette and I will be applying that in my crease with a 217 blending brush by MAC. So I'm pretty much mixing Enigma and uh, Smoke Show together in my crease using that uh, leader eyeshadow. And just again windshield wiper motions. Then I'm taking Enigma eyeshadow again and I'm just going to buff that out right underneath my lower lash line, you know, connected with the top part. And then next I'm going to use my Studio Fix face powder I used in the beginning and that same brush by Royal Lang Nickel. I'm just going to clean up the shape of my eyeshadow look. Now I'm going to use my Kat Von D Puro Amour Autograph Pencil and I'm just going to align my lower waterline with it to make the look more intense. Then I'm taking Clearly Liquid Glitter Base by Lick Cosmetics and mix it together with their Soul Sister Glitter uh, in the size 3 I believe. And then with my ring finger, I'm going to press it onto my lid. Hands down, this is my favorite glitter of all time. Oh my gosh, I, I, I need more. <laughs> anyway, now I'm going to apply my false lashes off camera. I'm using the Lily Lashes in the style Opulence. And of course, I have a separate video listed below in the information box and also listed here in the screen on how I apply my false lashes. But let's move on with this look. So I already did my foundation routine. I actually used my summer foundation routine for this look. So if you want to know how I did that, um, well, I'll leave a link somewhere here in the screen and below in the information box, just in case. 
So as always, I'm going to use my MAC Mineralize Skin Finish Natural in the shade Deep Dark and just warm up my face. And I'm using an angled contour brush by Morphe. And why I'm not doing a voiceover, I have no idea. I just felt like doing this. Let me just, before I continue, because I never do this because of the voiceover, but can you see the difference between this part and this part? It's just, it's more alive, it's more my skin tone, I just love using this. And I don't think I'll ever find a product that's gonna replace this or it's gonna be better. You know, if it's good, it's good. You don't need to change your routine up if it works for you. So to contour my face, I'm going to use this shade right here of the Morphe 9C Contour and Highlight Kit. And then I'm going to use this brush by MAC. It's a 129 powder brush. And just like with my, uh, you know, bronzing, let's say bronzing of my skin, I'm going to apply that on the same area, but not as buffed out, not as blended out. I sometimes forget to say this, but contour and highlight suited to your face shape, to your liking. You know, don't just mimic me. And that goes for everything from foundation to, you know, placing of the eyeshadow. It may not work for you. I'm just showing you how I create my looks. And you can take inspiration from it and apply it to your own routine or, you know, to your own makeup look. For my blush, I'm going to use Peach Twist Blush by MAC, and I'm using another MAC 129 powder brush. I wanted to say blush. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to apply that onto the apples of my cheeks, softly. Okay, so this isn't it. I'm going to apply faux freckles actually, just because, and I think it's fun, because this look is intended for one of my I Met's London days, where I'll be at the lip booth, but, booth, <laughs> but I'll talk about that in a different video. Um, so, you know, I'm, I get to go all out and just, you know, do something different. So I'm going to do that off camera. I do have a separate video on how I do that listed below in the information box. And I'll also list it here in the screen, um, you know, so you can click on it and see how I do that. It saves me time. Okay, so now that I got that covered, I'm not sure if I'm completely satisfied with the way it looks yet, but I'll do that eventually. But before I do any of that, let's highlight. So I'm going to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Gleam Glow Kit. And I will be using this shade right here, which is called Mimosa. And I'm just going to take a little bit right there with a concealer brush by Royal Lang Nickel, and I'm gonna apply that on the bridge of my nose, the tip of my nose, and on my cupid's bow. And then of course for my lips I'm going to use a Makeup Monsters Cosmetics uh, liquid lipstick and this shade is called Artillery. And I've never had grey lipstick before or liquid lipstick, so let's see what it looks like. Ooh, I'm liking that. So that was it for the tutorial. I hope that you enjoyed it as always. Um, yeah, about my wig, it's pretty much the same wig as the purple one, only this color is called 1B. So yeah, there you have it. I will have a direct link to this wig listed below in the information box as well, just in case you want to check it out and buy it for yourself and whatnot. So if you want to follow me on my social media pages, then just type in Makeup by Nemaisa on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Snapchat, Periscope, and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. It means the world to me. And until my next video, bye!
Instagram. So if you want to follow me. Wow, I'm I'm not good at speaking right now. 